The idea of that extremely compact personal dosimeter you just saw was spurred on by the nuclear disaster in Fukushima, Japan. While the immediate threats to those in the vicinity were clear right away, the experience has left many people concerned about extraordinary and everyday radiation. Looking for a way to give people more peace of mind, this Moscow-based innovator got to work designing his own smartphone-powered dosimeter. The device can help people better understand the risks that simply aren't visible. For example, the paint used in this old compass still emits radioactive particles that are easily measurable with the right equipment. Right now, we already have a whole line of software products and devices for various smartphones, cell phones, laptops and netbooks, all with varying levels of complexity. On the market, they'll range from simpler and less expensive models to more sophisticated versions. But of course the idea of checking radiation levels is far from a new one. Ever since people understood the risk of radioactivity, there's been the trusty but often cumbersome Geiger counter to measure it. The device's characteristic clicking sound has long let the user know if the plate of food in front of him or her is safe to eat. Each audible click is an incoming radioactive particle being ionized. Since its introduction, models have become more portable, and Doraz is simply taking that tradition into the future. The next version of our dosimeter will use a silicon sensor, which we're calling the semiconductor version. We're also working on a totally new generation of the device, which will employ a graphene-based sensor. At the moment, though, those plans are just that, plans on paper. To make the technological leap, the company needs new investments, which could be coming in the very near future. At the end of January, the company expects to hear back from Skolkova about a sizable grant that could give them the resources they need to move those next generation radiation detectors from paper to the production line. The company is anxious to get that going because according to certain estimations, their dosimeters could be a major seller. We can see fairly high demand across the world especially in Southeast Asia and Japan. Recently, we ordered a marketing research report from a Japanese company. Basically, based on their calculations, they believe that if these devices were launched on the Japanese market today, in the first month, we would sell around 40 to 50,000 of them. And over the course of a year, sales would total some 500,000. From that point, the market would stabilize and show its true capacity. Overall, the Japanese market is ready to accept some 3 to 6 million devices per year, while annual global demand, and again, this is according to the marketing research report, would likely be around 10 to 15 million devices. And as a wise man once said, knowing is half the battle. The Dora app enables users to note on a unified map where they found increased levels of radiation. That could then in theory be used to inform government agencies or interested citizens. With a handful of accidents ingrained in our collective memories, that information is of concern to people all over the globe. Presently, there are some 175 million living within 75 kilometers of major nuclear reactors. Of course, everyone's hoping for fully safe operations, but now your own dosimeter is never more than an arm's length away.